guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Giving Crew. Divine Feminine, welcome to this week's Yin reading for June 17th until the 28th. I hope you're all doing well. If you're masculine watching the reading, I'm sorry. I forgot to wish you a happy Father's Day if some of you guys are daddies. Okay, so I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot. So I'm going to pull the cards first and then we'll go through the positions. Um, one of the viewers was asking about what tags are. Um, this has to do with the Twin Flame reading. I mentioned that I, somewhere along the way, deleted my tags um, for my videos. So tags are, they could be single words or, you know, a couple of words like true love. Um, that are entered into the tag section when you upload your video. There's a box uh, below the description area which says tags. So you enter those single words or phrases. Um, always put a comma afterwards so you can separate them. And so when people uh, search on Google um, for a video, tarot reading, um, your reading will show up in search and it also kind of groups um, your readings in with similar readings as well so it'll show up in um, your suggestion box as well so it does um, definitely has an effect on the amount of views that you have so I highly recommend so if you're a tarot reader you know obviously you can have tarot cards psychic um, intuitive, foresight, tell the future, that kind of thing. Whatever you can think of. So the overall energy for June 17th to the 28th is five of cups, emotional loss. So this is somebody who ha has a closed off heart. There is a max masculine energy here. Um, so I think the message from the universe was very strong in the Twin Flame reading to open up, right? Remember, we got the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is very grounded, very uh, goal-oriented, whereas the King of Swords is somebody who's closed off emotionally. Um, the Ice King, control. Okay, so... Again, it's projecting this hurt, um, hurt, you know, vulnerable, protective energy. So we want to open that up. So how do you feel about the relationship, the Seven of Pentacles, patience and planning? Um, so this is the pregnant pause. It's a forced pause. You're waiting for the return. So... In the 3D, you feel that you're at a standstill with the masculine, you're reconsidering, you're planning for the future, you're seeing where you made mistakes. Um, there's no emotional connection here. It's all about manifesting in the 3D. And that's what I was picking up very strongly in the Twin Flame reading. You are focused on the material world. But there's this feeling of waiting, you know, the, we have some leaves being rustled up, so it's almost like this fall, um, you know, harvest, waiting for harvest, waiting for change. What are you resisting? The universe card. So... This is a completion of a major cycle. It could take up to 20 years to complete. Um, it is an acknowledgement from the universe that you've 
you know, you've completed this journey or you've completed something that took a long time. Sorry if you can hear people outside. I think some people are having barbecues, so sounds like they're having a good time. Um, you know, you, you're maybe resisting seeing the big picture. Now with the Yang reading, he had the Nine of Cups, which is dreams come true. And so it was like these hands reaching out, holding this galaxy in their hands. And here we have a galaxy being represented. Um, so the strong message that was coming through for the masculine side was strengthening bonds, connecting. So, yeah. You're resisting seeing the big picture. You're focused on 3D reality. Message from your higher self. Partnerships and alliances. There you go. Your higher self is telling you to reach out, connect, form bonds, um, but be open to those bonds. So don't, don't close yourself off again. Stay open. Past position, transformation. So the, you are also bringing the death card into the union for the twin flame reading. Um, so you are in a transition. You are being reborn. You are completing some major shit in your life. Um, cutting away things that are no longer serving you. Putting a death to the ego, death to your old identity. And so there is a feminine being represented here as illuminated, growing your butterfly wings, coming out of the mind. Okay, your present position, eight of cups, emotional withdrawal. So the overall energy is emotional loss. So you are withdrawing emotionally. Um, now this was actually a very strong energy for coming from the universe for the masculine side was to withdraw from something that was holding him down. Um, but there's also a strong feeling of disconnect, desiring to reconnect, having, you know, feeling loss. So perhaps you are the one who is withdrawing emotionally. Um, and we did see that in the twin flame reading as well. So let me just pull one clarifier card. They are your twin. They are your twin. You know, what's also really capturing my attention is, you know, this person is in a meditative state. They are tr calming their emotional water. Now, the shadow is multicolored like chakra. You know, so there's this vibrancy, this depth that is being represented here, that you are on a journey. The journey is one that you take alone. Um, you're discovering some truths, and the truth is, you know, they are your twin flame. Um, but you feel an emotional withdrawal, and it's, it's hurting your heart. I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is you, the feminine, not necessarily the masculine. So the future position, we have heart chakra. Nice. This card showed up in the future position for the twin flame extended reading. So confirmation that you will, your heart will open up in a beautiful way. You take the advice of the universe. So what does the universe want to say? Temptation, the, the devil. Um, so this could have to do with addictions, karmic relationships. So it's a chain. So what I'm really feeling with this is, you know, your ego, you're battling with your ego. Don't allow your ego to take control, right? The, we see the king energy, you know, is very solid, stern, authoritative, and 
that's coming from an ego point, right? You're taking control of a situation or cutting yourself. You're actively doing something that is blocking you. You can see that blockage as well over there. Now, the tower showed up in the masculine's past position, and, but it was a feminine that was being represented. And you kind of felt that same kind of guardedness of the heart. So that could have been you. Okay, so what is in your external is the Four of Swords, Rest and Rejuvenation. Um, again, meditating. This is healing the heart. It's in your external environment, so um, it's almost like you're both thinking of each other at this moment. Um, you both feel each other emotionally. You feel a disconnect emotionally. A lot of aloneness and stillness, but healing. So the masculine got the King of Cups from the Osho Zen, which is healing. So I feel the masculine is healing. Um, and so are you during that pause. What do you fear? Financial material changes. So this is um, some type of loss. Something's taken from you. Um, you feel alone, lost. Uh, you have no one to help you. Your higher self is telling you to reach out. And you will, right, with the heart chakra. This is the heart completely exploding into love. But it could also mean that you're afraid of losing something in the 3D reality. You feel like you've gained stability and freedom, but material manifestation can't make you happy. You know, pursuing material things won't make you happy, won't bring you a sense of satisfaction. <clears throat> you need to feel satisfied within yourself, you know, just love yourself, and then everything falls into place. So there's a definite feeling of lack. You fear lack. You fear losing something. And, and it's like, you know, there, if you look at this hand, it's reaching for something. You know, you don't know if they should take that or not. And then we have that same reaching. You know, instead of reaching for a negative influence, reach for a connection, partnership, alliances. You feel alone, you feel disconnected, and, but it's because the masculine is doing the same thing. He's healing himself, and something great is going to happen in the future. Beautiful reading, guys, but you have to be open to it. Okay, so let's pull one card from Psychic Tarot of the Heart. No, actually, I think I used the Osho Zen again. For the basic reading so you can purchase the extended reason reading in the link below um, or you can become a patron through patreon um, you get all my extended readings for a month early and you also get the mid-month energy reading um, yeah i definitely cater to the patrons first so in the future, when I start to do readings again, um, I will be, you know, taking reading orders from the patrons first. Okay, so let's see. Um, the overall message from the universe is clinging to the past. The Five of Cups, same card. Okay. The figure pictured in this card is preoccupied with clutching her box of memories that she has turned her back on the sparkling champagne glass of blessings available here and now. That's what I was feeling with those kings, you know, um, concentrating on your loss, your lack. 
Her nostalgia for the past really makes her a blockhead and a beggar besides, as we can see from her patched and ragged clothes. She needn't be a beggar, of course, but she is not available to taste the pleasures that offer themselves in the present. It's time to face up to the fact that the past is gone, and any effort to repeat it is a sure way of staying stuck in old blueprint that would have already out, you would have already outgrown if it hadn't been so busy clinging to what you have already been through. And that's what I was, I'm feeling, right? You feel that loss, um, and you are you're in a transit stage and opening up your heart in the future. So this is just confirmation, right? Just to stop living in the past, be open to the present. Take a deep breath, put the box down, tie it in a pretty ribbon if you must, and bid it a fond, reverent farewell. Life is passing you by, and you're in danger of becoming an old fossil before your time. So there was a feeling of you being in a romantic um, phase this coming week, feeling romance, feeling a desire to connect with the masculine, to be the muse. Um, and then, a, you know, in the extended region, or yeah, the extended reading final outcome, there was a, the flirt card came up. So stop clinging to the past. You cannot live there. You know, you can only live in the now and don't worry about the future. Right? Appreciate what you have in the now. All right, so I do hope this helps. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. All right, cheers. Welcome back, ladies. This is the extended version of the yin reading. Um, so let me just give the cards a quick shuffle here. I'll be pulling three cards per position. All right, so in how you view the relationship. So you feel that things have stopped um, there is growth here and there's a, a potential of manifestation in the future so you feel um, that you're considering some things in your life I guess where you can you know your time and energy is better spent um, so let's pull some clarifiers so the wheel of fortune or destiny the yang and the Eight of Pentacles. So <clears throat> the Wheel of Fortune in the past position, this represents change, good luck, but more importantly, destiny. So you, you feel that, you know, destiny has brought you the masculine, uh, but you are waiting, but you do see him as your true love. They are your twin but you're in this waiting phase. Now in the future we have a progression from the seven to the eight, which is a movement. So there will be work that is required of you. You're gonna be stepping into this uh, energetic phase to complete you know, this long-term goal, right? So um, what I feel here is during this contemplative phase you've discovered some truths about your masculine and it helps energize you and it's all about karmic energy as well what the heck okay so what are you resisting is the universe so let me just pull the book <clears throat> I was a little confused with this card so I just want to look at the Again, I apologize. Um, there are people outside having a barbecue. <clears throat> so you've come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded for your efforts. This card symbolizes completion, triumph, peace, liberation, and fulfillment. Everything you've strived for is within your reach. Meet it halfway and grab it. Yeah, and that's what I'm feeling here as well. Meet it halfway, grab it, connect. I was also feeling that as well in the masculine reading of the masculine reaching out and connecting so meet it halfway be open to the experience 
Okay, so the Five of Cups, the Two of Swords, and the Philosopher. So the Five of Cups is, you know, your head stuck in that box, um, thinking about the past, thinking about your loss. Um, the Two of Swords is making a decision, so being at a crossroads, feeling stuck. And then the Hermit is going on a spiritual journey um, to discover some truths. So I see you coming out of that, that stuckness, um, you know, feeling lost and hopeless once you've realized, you know, that you are very important, you're special. You have the ability to make some big, you know, to influence some big changes in the world, positive changes. So be the light bearer. <clears throat> okay, so in message from your higher self, you had the three of wands. So for, forming partnerships and alliances. So the king of cups, the ace of swords, and the four of swords. So the king of cups represents, you know, somebody that you have an emotional connection with. Somebody who loves very deeply, could be a water sign. So there is a desire to, you know, reconnect. Your higher self wants this reconnection. Um, and your higher self is telling you to make a decision. Um, have a clear idea of what you desire and that, you know, you will manifest it. But this is a very victorious card as well. The Ace of Swords um, represents triumph, victory. So, have gratitude for your connection um, and reestablish those connections, I guess. The Four of Swords in the Future Position, this is, you know, rest, rejuvenation, um, healing the heart. So, the Higher Self um, is moving you into a very healing state. Um, you're going to be letting go or cutting away any negative thoughts. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat is very scratchy for some reason. I apologize. Or maybe there's something you need to say with the Ace of Swords. You're holding back. So your past position is transformation, the death card. So in death of the ego. Um, so the Eight of Fire, the Eight of Water, the Chariot. So two eights represents infinity, cycles of completion. The eight of fire represents sending positive vibrations, loving messages, loving, um, you know, uh, intentions into the universe and having that come back to you. So this could also mean communication, exciting communication. So it's accelerated energy. So that, that caused the transformation. And it, it caused you to withdraw emotionally from something um, so that you can transform and move forward. So maybe you walked away from the masculine to, to find some deeper meaning. But you walked away knowing that you're st you were still in a very positive vibration, right? You... Um, you needed to, to take care of something, and then you're coming back, I feel, with the chariot. Now, the Eight of Cups is the energy you're still in, so I don't see that you in the chariot just yet, but the chariot showed up twice in the Yang reading, so this could be energy coming towards you. So this uh, chariot is taking control of your life, directing your energy over obstacles, challenges, pursuing things that make you happy very powerful energy and it's also a water card as well so overcoming emotional challenges <clears throat> very hot today um, so it's very dry in here so I apologize again for my throat so your present position emotional withdraw three of wands the page of fire or page of water and the sun so the three of, of wands is, you know, excitement. It's feeling, you know, like you're on the right track. Yeah, like you're feeling encouraged, excited about a prospect. 
it is also encouragement from the universe. All right, you're on the right path, the universe is saying. So there was definite positive vibrations in the past that allowed you to withdraw emotionally. But, you know, you, you still have love in your heart with the page of cups. This is somebody who is in a loving state. They, they want to pursue a, a new beginning with a loving connection. They're sending out loving messages. They're the muse. They're inspiring artists, creativity. You know, and it's the car. They are your twin. Maybe, you know, while you're in this eight of cups, you're contemplating that. But at the same time, you're feeling love growing in your heart. And, you know, and it further confirms, you know, that love further confirms the, the depth of the love that you feel is true and real. And so the future, we have the sun. So this is, you know, the most positive card in the deck, new beginnings. This card actually showed up in the future position for the masculine as well the near future for the twin flame. So this new, new, um, this newness, this freedom, this innocence, this um, exciting time is in the future. So uh, it has to do with the positivity that you've been in. You've been excited, you've been um, desiring to pursue something but you knew you weren't really you know ready for it and now you are or you will be ready for it you will be ready to open yourself up once and for all and then perhaps you become the chariot we got more movement with the eight of pentacles positive momentum um, now there is the philosopher in four swords which represents aloneness so they are uh, definitely um, opposite energies even though there's a sense of being alone the philosopher is somebody who goes on a spiritual journey and so does the eight of cups they embark on a spiritual quest whereas the four of swords is a healing of the heart after the three of swords heartbreak <clears throat> okay so the heart chakra is in the future so that's awesome the Five of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and Yin. So again, we got two fives repeating numbers with the Yin card. Yin is a three. The Heart Chakra, four. Oh, sorry. Actually, the, the, this is the Four of Pentacles. My bad. Okay, so the Five of Wands is the thumbs down uh, the past, present, it was a thumbs up. Uh, the future, past, is a thumbs down. down. So there's this wavering, you know, um, should I, shouldn't I? Um, or just competing energy. Somebody riling you up or they're in, they're out. Right? Um, but it's also overcoming challenges. That was a big deal for you something standing in your way, some type of emotional um, thing that you're waiting for. The Four of Pentacles is somebody who's closed off in the 3D, who, you know, is stuck in their ways. So this, what I'm feeling is that you may have been in like a negative space, you know, unwilling to open up, unwilling to um, contemplate ideas or you know new new avenues you've been closed off definitely is what I was feeling but then you've got the yin in the future with coupled with the heart chakra right so you've been closed off you've been um, defensive and then you step into this yin and again the yin showed up in the future for the twin flame reading, so more confirmation, especially coupled with the heart chakra, double synchronicity. Good for you guys. You've been quite closed off <clears throat> for the past couple of readings. Okay, so the message from the universe is temptation, the devil, the lover's card, wow, crown chakra, and the ace of pentacles. So 
more uh, synchronicities, the Ace of Pentacles is coming in the future. Um, Um, it was with the King of Pentacles. Gosh, I can't remember. But the Ace of Pentacles also was the overall energy for the masculine, strengthening bonds. So the Crown Chakra is also coming as a final outcome for the ladies. So the Lover's Card in the past. So the Lover's Card is feeling deep love, soul connection with your twin flame. But it is also a longing card. It's wanting that connection. So it's coming in the past. So there was this deep bond, this love, this knowing. Um, and the universe is saying, don't attach yourself to the past. Let go of the past. And that was, again, another overall energy from the universe was to stop living in the past. Again, the Five of Cups is your overall energy for the reading in the coming week. So let go of your attachments because it'll only drudge up the, you know, nasty energy, which repels, you know, like attra attracts like. Be in a conscious state, crown chakra, open up your crown chakra. That is the, the road out of the ego awareness of your behavior, awareness of your reaction, awareness of your attachment, awareness of what you desire for the future. Be in the now. And when you are in that state, what you desire will come to you, a gift, an offering, an opportunity. The seed of intention <clears throat> is returned to you. Okay, so here, external is the four swords. Rest and rejuvenation is the same card that's coming in the future from the higher self. Um, perhaps there's an awareness that the masculine is healing. You know, your higher self is becoming aware of that, making you consciously aware. I, I don't know if that made any sense. Um, so in the external, there is this rest, healing of the mind, meditation, growth, all that green, stillness. So three, two of cups, five of pentacles, interesting and the moon so the two of cups is spiritual union recognizing your twin flame again double whammy with the lover's card over there um the masculine you feel the masculine in your external environment and you feel him disconnecting or disconnected from you in the 3d the five of pentacles again is you know closed off um, feeling alone, feeling um, you have no help. And then the future, we have the moon. Now the future over here is the sun. So the sun and the moon could be the yin and yang in, re in union. Um, but it could also mean that the masculine um, is going into a dark period taking a leap of faith um, you know and there's a sense of him preparing himself to do something also feeling disconnected that was definitely what the masculine was feeling in his reading <clears throat> and then the future the moon um yeah so you know there's something that is unknown um and something that needs to be discovered or revealed and I feel that, you know, there is movement through that darkness as the yin, as the sun, uh, but also it could be the masculine. You know, all these cards could be just the masculine energy facing his fears, moving through those dark emotional waters, reaching out. 
you fear the five of pentacles so that's that same card of disconnect feeling you have no one to help you the nine of swords the hangman or perspective shift and the page of pentacles so the nine of swords in the past you worried about something it really consumed you we, we see that very strongly in the mid-month energy reading as well as um, the twin flame reading. In the past, you were consumed with thoughts, negative thoughts. And they're still plaguing you. You still feel disconnected. You fear reliving that, those, you know, negative. You, d you don't want to fall back into the dark night of the soul, right? But at the same time, you don't want to feel alone anymore. Um, you're afraid to reach out because something happened in the past that ended badly. So you, f you also fear um, letting go of control, the what if, but you are in that transition, you are moving through this energy, letting go of control, seeing things from a different perspective, but you just don't want to be pulled back into it, right? But at the same time, you don't want to be alone. So the Page of Pentacles in the future position, um, this sh showed up very strongly in the masculine reading a couple times, and so, you know, this could be a very well be the masculine, but I'm also feeling you switching your perspective to more grounded, more, you know, present, more committed to the future, um, a new beginning, a new start, that opportunity arises, you know, you your your life opens up. You know, it's the sun, the yin, the crown chakra, and this new adventure, this commitment to a long-term goal. So even though you're afraid of being alone, <clears throat> sorry, afraid of being alone, um, it's all a matter of perspective, and you are aware of that, but it's a continual struggle for you. All right, so again, I'm so sorry. I have the fan going as well, which is not helping at all. Um, okay, so I'm going to pull one card from uh, John Holland, Psychic Tarot of the Heart. The throat chakra was very prominent on the masculine side. It showed up twice in the future. Giving and receiving. There you go with that openness, offering, connection, getting help, so giving and receiving. Interesting, I accidentally opened it to reach out, so I think that's definitely a sub-message. Where the heck is this card? That's not that one. Oh, here we go. So, number six. Oh, shoot, it's still not the right one. Oh my gosh, guys, I'm so sorry. Air, water. Oh, that's why. I, oh my god, I'm so stupid. I was looking for the Six of Pentacles, not the Three of Pentacles. Durr. All right, so. So the key words are balance, reward, share, ask. When this card appears, relationships take on a loving, balanced energy. You've worked hard to understand yourself and others, and now it's paying off. You're being rewarded with joy and fulfillment. Is there someone in your life who could benefit from what you've learned around matters of the heart? Take some time to share your insight. Be careful though. Don't try to solve people's problems, just be a mentor. Also look for other ways that you can be of assistance to those around you. But be sure to give only what you can and no more. In the spirit of balance, be open to receiving support and inspiration from others. The universe is waiting to help you. You're blessed at this time and will receive additional favors if you ask for what you still need. Trust that you will receive it. 
so again I feel the feminine opening up giving of herself being in a positive supportive state of mind just feeling generous in the heart okay so again I do hope this helped uh, please like share subscribe and comment all right cheers